Okay, everybody. Hello. It is Monday, January 19th, I believe. And I'm jumping on from my Monday Facebook Live. I hope everyone's doing awesome. I hope everyone had a great weekend. If you are here in the Houston area, we had a little bit of a chilly weekend. Um, if you are in the marathon, I hope you ran awesome. You had light feet and the wind was to your back. If you were at the um, Texas State Weightlifting Meet, I hope all the weights were light and you were feeling strong and on, on top of the world. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Houston area um, in a lot of different ways. Um, so I wanted to jump on today and talk about something. Got my notes. I say that every time, don't I? Um, I wanted to jump on today and talk about um, a myth. A myth that we hear a lot of um, from families and what we hear that pediatricians are telling their kids and so forth and so on. And the myth is your child will grow out of it, right? They'll grow out of it. It'll be okay, blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't know that that's always the truth. I don't know that the kids are always growing out of things because we're seeing some specific things in, in, the, in the office, right? Um, and what we see a lot of in our youngsters is we see a lot of colic and reflux. Those are two big things that come in the office. Um, and we help um, kiddos with, with that and, of course, then the families. And we see a lot of kids in the office with sensory struggles, ADHD, and um, kids that are on the, on the spectrum. Um, and what's interesting is that in the case history of these kids with the ADDs, ADHD, sensory stuff, we're seeing pregnancy issues, uh, birth issues, um, we see the baby was dealing with colic and reflux and all this stuff really, really early on. Um, and it's just really, really common. So one of the most common ingredients that we see with the kids that we treat with ADD and ADHD is they almost all have a history of colic and ref reflux. And the question is why? You know, what's going on? And the big thing is the brain and the nervous system and how it's func functioning. Um, when we see these types of things, we can, we can say that there's something going on in the nervous system. We also see that there's a lack of sleep. We see that there's breastfeeding issues. We see that there's a history of ongoing vomiting um, and these types of things. And these are all symptoms that there's something going on in the nervous system and that their nervous system isn't functioning properly. The nervous system controls all the muscles that lead to reflux, colic, vomiting, and nursing issues, all these types of things. So it's we're not so we're we're gonna see it. But I also want to stress that every not every kid with reflux and colic is going to come down with ADD or ADHD. I'm just saying that one of the most common ingredients that we see on our intake forms, the kids that are coming in with ADD and ADHD are colic and reflux. We see it over and over and over again. Um, the sensory issues, all these types of things. Um, so they tend to develop these things and they tend to develop into the ADHD str struggles as well. Um, like I said, it's one of the most common ingredients, and what we think is one of the most common warning signs that these kids are going to move into some some of these twelve types of bleh, excuse me types of things. So moms, listen to your gut, right? You know what's going on. You know with your kiddos. You know if there's something more going on. Um, Let's get them in. If we can get them in sooner, if we can get them in when these issues are starting, then we can take care of it now, get them into care, and then, like I said, the likelihood of these other issues coming along are going to drop significantly, all right? So please, if any of this resonates with you, if you know any kids or families that are struggling, please think of us. Have them give the office a call. I'll be more than happy to do a consultation on the phone. Uh, we've also got another live talk coming up in February. There'll be more talk coming out on that or more uh, information coming out on that. And then actually next Tuesday night, I'm doing a live webinar on five ways 
to get your brain kicked up into high high speed, and it, that'll be something for the kids and for the adults. Just with the new with the new year and all of us trying to do lots of new things. So please stay on our channel. Please keep li listening. Uh, remember, colic and reflux, two big ingredients that we see all the time. Two big warning signs. If there's anything I can to help, anything I can do to help you or your family. Please re reach out. We would love to help you. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great mon Monday. Peace out.